Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday morning and we are heading to Washington, D.C. for a U.S. Olympic and Paralympic event to have a gala, an award ceremony, pick up our, our rings from the games, and uh, yeah, hopefully get to go in the White House, too. Um, we got with us in the car, Justin Fogsvon, Taylor Tabbitt, Kim Crosby Hightower, Eric Hightower. What were you saying? <laughs> Alright, hair looking good. Now I'm running low on time. Let's get to it. A rare sighting. Reginald Yeager is showing up last second. There he goes. There he goes again. All right, first flight, you guys ready? Ready. You. So Reggie just called me back and forth and he's on a different flight. It gets in at like 10 or 12 p.m. We have like Sounds like they're grinding away the plane right now. All right, he gets in super late. He has a long layover um, somewhere. We have like an hour layover and we get in in the afternoon. So he just called me back and forth on FaceTime and he's like, can you check to see if there's any open seats? And randomly, there's one seat that just opened up on my app. So I looked like 10, 15 minutes ago, there was nothing, it was all full. And the people on the front desk said it was full. And he was like, well, the flight attendant told me on my seat or on my plane that if there is a seat available, then I could try and get on there. So I was like, bro, I don't know, good luck. Cause he was on his plane, he's literally FaceTiming, or he FaceTiming me, and he's walking off his plane, trying to get on this plane. We'll see if he makes it. All right, so update, I just landed in Atlanta, and I went to my other gate, and I forgot my suit on the other plane, so I'm rushing back right now to get my suit, so. Hopefully it's still on the plane, hopefully the plane hasn't moved or anything. But yeah, rushing over there right now. A little bit stressed. We'll see what happens. So no one's at the counter. And I was panicking a little bit, you can see. No one's here. Plane is... Plane is right there. I found a, a pilot talking to some people and kind of interrupt, interrupted, obviously apologize, but ask him for help. He's going on board right now to look for it. So hopefully he's got it. Dude, you hey. are the man. All right. Thank you so you much. Dude, what is your name, Scott? Scott, yeah. Yeah, my name is Trenton Merrill. I'm a US Paralympian. Dude, you just helped me out so much. All man. right, we appreciate that. Yeah, right. thank you, Scott. All right. Let's go. Got it, got my suit, good to go. That is not the first time that I've left something on a plane that trying to get on another plane. So, got my suit, heading back. They're boarding right now, so. All right guys, made it on my flight. Um, <sighs> luckily there's enough room in the bulkhead up here so I can just put my suitcase and my suit on top of it. Um, man, I have got to relieve the joy that I didn't lose my suit and have to panic to figure something out. Um, Man, that guy, Scott, just made my day. So, you know what, if someone needs help, please, you know, help them. Cause you never know how it's gonna impact their life. And he just made me so happy. And um, kind of reminds me of like, definitely give a helping hand when, when it's needed for sure, uh, or offer it. Ready to get back to reading in this next flight. Just started this book, um, The Richest Man in Babylon. And it is amazing. I cannot put this book down, I'm learning so much so much great principles and disciplines that I've kind of already implemented, but reading this book is just confirmation and uh, stick with it and maybe um, try and refine it a little more. So I'm gonna get to the flight and reading now. Wow, look who they chose to put up there. All right, Reggie and I just got to the hotel, really nice hotel. Um, we just checked our bags, we're gonna do a couple of athletes. He's gonna drop his bags off. Yes, and then we're gonna go find some food and rest up for tomorrow. Got my stuff, slowly unpacking, but I am 
hungry. All right, so I need to grab my room key and get some food. That's numero uno. And then sleep and get ready for tomorrow. 2,000 years later. <laughs> I was standing there so long waiting for you to look at me. <laughs> Say what up. This is CB. This is for the vlog. What's this is for the vlog, dude. You made it, in the vlog made it man. You Bro, take on? take a sip, bud. Take for a me? sip. I mean, you can't have the whole thing, but you got a sip. I'm about to down this mother. Oh, you gotta tax me, man. It's an IPA, huh? Yeah. You know, I mean, it's the only thing I drink. It's pretty good. Man. Is it hazy? No. This is smooth. It's a apricot. <laughs> <laughs> There's a chick dancing in the street. What are the chances he danced with her? There's a club down there, Reggie. <laughs> you hear the music? Say what up, Isaac. What's good, bro? You want to dance by Isaac? My dude, dude. Got you, got you, because I was about to definitely Let's go. The man of the night. I didn't even break it. Hey, hey. He's stuck. Oh. oh my gosh. Can't take pair of people nowhere. Phew. It's the last day. Time to wake up, Reggie. Hello. Who is this in my bed? Oh, I didn't know that I brought you home. <laughs> All right, last day. We're right here at the White House. About to go in. And yeah, having a good time. Jesse, say what up, dude? What's up? <laughs> All right, let's check it out. About to enter. Classic Reggie. Reggie, trying to get a bunch of photos, getting everybody else to take them. Oh, well, it changed it up since the last time I was here. Oh, wow. You did it two times, okay? Okay, subtle flex. Gotta get on their level. Huh? You really changed the grass out here since the last yeah, time I was here. Yeah, they listened to my suggestion in hiring a band. <laughs> oh. So, wait, we don't walk that way? Thank you, thank you. This is actually really beautiful here. Bro, what tie your shoes, Michael? That's unprofessional, it's unpresidential. Wearing your workout shoes. <laughs> See, you wear those same shoes every single day. Real special moment. Yep. Wow. We're in the White House. What do you want to tell Joe Biden? Oh, that's a great question, actually. What do you want to tell Joe Biden? Think about it. Let's, uh, let's keep walking around, bud. Yes. yes. 
Thank you. Look at Aiden right there. Look at Aiden. Mm. Hey, can you get a picture of me next to the bus? I see. Oh, man. Yeah. Abe. Honest Abe was always honest. Always honest. Yes. All right, all right. Here goes Reggie again, asking for more photos. Oh, I didn't take that. All right, get over there by Honest Abe. You got a paper towels. Oh, I didn't got it. Wow. Would you look at that? Oh, what up, Lo? Yes. Are you all feeling so patriotic while I'm here? Yes. It's wild. Yes. Now you're wearing the shades. Yes. Now I'm wearing the shades. In the White House. I, I needed it. Yeah. Yeah. If the White House cameras could see what my eyes look like right now, they'd be like, this guy probably shouldn't come in. No, I don't trust his eyes. Yeah. Tell him to go back to sleep. Get him out of here. Yeah. Get him out of here. We don't trust him. So I actually didn't even finish the tour, so I'm actually going to go back up that way. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. That's right. I am going back upstairs. Start my tour all over. Andrew, what up, dude? How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I am. Um, I mean, dude, it's super beautiful, and I'm, I don't know. I feel like I'm all mindful this time going through. And I didn't record it last time, so I'm like, dude, I'm going to try and record as much as I can. There's a lot of cool stuff. So the portrait of Angelica Van Buren, it's the daughter of President Van Buren. Do you see the bust that's in the background? The bust? The bust, the uh, the stone sculpture in the oh, background. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, it's did not know that's what it was called. Yep, it's also featured in this room. It's, it's right behind you. No way. No. Fun fact. Angelica Van Buren's in the red room because uh, she was one of the first daughters of a president to fill the role as first lady because President Van Buren's wife died. So she stepped up to fill the official hostess role, which is typically done. No uh, way. By the first lady. So you're in the red room, obviously known for its color. Yes. Um, Mary Todd Lincoln used to hold seances in this room to try and communicate with her son who passed away. And President Hayes. Actually, Wait, she, oh, seances? Yeah. So imagine Tell me the doors more. closed, the windows drawn, the door, everything, a few candles. Ouija board type stuff, but I'm no sure way. Yeah, her son passed away, and she was very she was trying to the summon family, the uh, dead. So she wanted to talk to her son, so she used to hold seances in here. Whoa! Uh, Did not know that. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe that lady used to summon for her for her son. Crazy. I mean, I just wouldn't have expected in the White House. Hey, is this one the green room? The green room? Oh, it is. It's the champagne room, actually. It says the green room right there, bud. Did you just look at it? What's the most expensive item in this room? Which one? Which painting? The, the lady with the mosquito net. Oh, really? Why? Who is that? It's called the mosquito net. It's the name of the The mosquito net lady? Dude, does she haunt the White House or what, dude? This one's second most valuable. Oh, yeah. Okay, wow, yeah. This one's super beautiful. Independence. Wow. Wow, that's super pretty. What's up? Is there any fun facts about this room? There's a lot of fun facts about this room. Oh, dude. Lay them on me. We should get close because this... Painting right. is a replica, and I want to tell you exactly why it's a Yes, let's go. All right. All right, let's go check it out. Right, let's check it out real quick. Okay, let's check it out. All right, so what about this painting do you think makes it a replica? Because obviously the War of 1812, the White House burned down, and the painting had to be taken out. It got lost in translation. But if you look at this painting right here, what about this sticks out that says this is not correct all the way? Are you the books? Um, yeah, I'm asking about the books. It's in the books. It is in the books. Let's go. Read, read what it says about the Constitution. Constitution and laws of the United States. It does not say states. 
Stats. Sates. Sates. There's no T. There's no T. Oh my okay. goodness. Said, Fraud. That's his brushstroke right there to say, I did not want this to be the exact same oh. as well. All right, who's respecting the original? Yeah. Also, this is George Washington. This is originally in Congress, but because you're not allowed to have any weapons depicted in Congress, because it's supposed to be a place where you talk things out as adults and there's no hostility whatsoever, he took this down because he was carrying a sword. Because what? Because he was carrying a sword. Oh. Also, swords back then weren't sharp at all. Swords weren't meant for dueling. Swords were used for riding for officers on horseback. So he wanted a nice dull sword, so that way, when you went and you hit somebody in the head with it, it would cause blood for his trauma, cracked the skull, and killed him. Vice getting stuck in there whatsoever. Oh, nice. Classic. <laughs> what up, bro? Dude, I missed you last night. How was it? <laughs> you're, you're on my YouTube right now, my man. Fly guy over here. No, 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 no. Tell me, tell me about last night, bro. Too much, too much to know. Oh, that's why I'm wearing the glasses. All right, coolest thing I've seen so far is a painting that is not the original copy. No. Um, no. And it, I think it got burned out or lost somewhere. But you can see because if you look at the books, uh, it doesn't have a T for state. It says state. And the guy kept it that way because he didn't want it to look exactly the same as the original. That's the coolest thing I've seen this far. That's awesome. I love it. Yes. I'm doing the two of you. IJP underscore I am one. I'm almost wrong. Wait, what? Alright, ready? Three, two, one, go. What's going on, Trent? Oh, my God. Alright, alright, alright. Three, two, one. What's going on, Trent's fans? I think you underscore I am one. You won't regret it. I'm everyone's superhero. Might be even be yours. Superhero. I'm stuttering. Hold on. I don't like that. Right. Okay, yeah, yeah. Alright, all right. All right. ready? Go. What's up, Trans fam? You know, follow your boys, IJP underscore I am one on Instagram. I might be your superhero. Yeah. There you What's go. I mean, I can't do the dance move anyways, but. Wow, what are these plates about? I don't know. Do they all have like, do they change the plates for every president? Cause that would be tight. You get your own plates. Dude, which one are you vibing with the most? Right now, I like this Clinton one. That one's pretty cool. I kinda, I don't know why, but I like that coffee cup and uh, plate. Actually, this one, I really like this one. I'm not gonna lie, this is probably my favorite. That little cup right there, too. Yeah. That's nice. Franklin D. Roosevelt, yep. Dude, Roosevelt had the style, dude. <laughs> What's going on, man? What's over here? You're in spot. I'm about to head off the Rose Garden, man. the other office. Oh, really? The Rose Garden, all right. Mm. Let's get it going. Thank you, thank you. All right, we got another victim of stealing the napkins. Okay. I took stuff from the bathroom. I'm guilty. Everybody's taking it. I also have like... I didn't know that was a thing. My pockets are heavy because I've gotten... Hit. Oh, that's my license. But a lot of pins, too. <laughs> all right, wait. Was that your favorite thing? Um... I would say this right now, like surrounded by all the athletes and being on the Rose Garden, in the Rose Garden. Yes. For sure. Oh yeah, I, I mean, it's pretty cool. Oh, and when like we walked in, they said, welcome to the White House, which I think was pretty cool, like as we... I also um, liked how they played like uh, the music from the Olympics. Yeah. Like when we were walking in, so for me, I was like, that was nostalgic. <laughs> Alright, Craig Bomb, we just went through the White House, about to meet the president. Yeah. What's been your favorite part so far? I'll say, really just seeing all of the like monumental stuff. I, I, yeah. It's a lot of historic stuff in here. Be able to take pictures and see, you know, where they actually walk around and where they have the meetings. I was able to see like his doctor's office and stuff. So it's definitely some I didn't even stuff. know he had a doctor's office. Yeah, yeah, no, oh. he has his own. And the doctor or one of his doctors is actually in there right now. So I was able to talk what? to him, take pictures of the chair and everything. So it was, it was pretty cool. So that is pretty dope. Can't beat that. Look at my dude Reggie. I know he's trying to finesse something right now. Oh, 
Check this out. I've been looking around trying to like. Didn't I say they're fucking snipers on top of the White House? Yeah. They're on that building though. Wow. I knew that action movie did not lie to me. <laughs> I knew it. There's Alec. Chaperone. Look at Alec. Thank you so much. Last flight home. Yes, sir. San Diego. Almost, San Diego. almost done. Yep. One flight, good flight. We're going to be home. Long trip. Not to sleep back training, but it was a good trip. Long trip, time to dip. Good job, Reg. We had a good time. <laughs> Are you ready to sprint as fast as you can after this? <laughs> So I'm here with Michael Shuey. We just got back from the White House yesterday, the, uh, the gala. And I do want to know, what was one of the, your favorite parts about the event? Why did you like the event? I thought it was really neat that we got to spend time with the uh, Winter Olympic people. I did too. We never get to meet those guys. Uh, one of the curlers came up to me and was like, I've never been around Summer Olympic people. And I said, is it everything you expected? And he said, you guys are so big. And I was like, oh, shoot. That's a really good point. Winter Olympics size of the athlete is not as, like, important. <laughs> I almost, uh, I almost went down a slippery slope. 
<laughs> All right. Well, well, it was interesting. That that is interesting. Um, I thought it was that cool every... that we had athletes from summer and winter as well, Olympians and Paralympians. Lo, hey, I didn't see you back there. Would you like to be part of this? Oh so, my God, are you filming? I didn't know. Yeah, no, it's, so cool. I am. Yeah, it's weird how the camera just turns on whenever you get around. Oh, let me get the mic out. Yeah, well, here's yeah. the mic. Oh, where's the lighting, was, guys? Um, no. No. Where, what was some of your favorite things about uh, the weekend? I think it was just uh, meeting people. That was super cool. We got to meet a lot of like Olympians, Paralympians, and the winter and summer. So. Winter and summer winter Olympians and, and Paralympians. I, I think that's a trifecta of agreement. Yeah. And then I got to wear pretty dress. Yeah. Yep. She was wearing Courtney. She was, she was wearing Courtney. Courtney? so weird. <laughs> um, the gala, I uh, went in 2016. This year was the best year. I've only been twice, but this was so much fun. I was dancing my butt off this time. Last time, not as many people were dancing. Uh, people were kind of like leaving. Yeah, I think you did too a little bit. I wish I got more of you on camera though. He's a talker. He mingles around. I saw you talking to all these people for hours. Yeah, yeah, I talk to everyone. Like every every sports CEO, I talk to. Yeah, you're like the you without know, any fun. You know the guy or girl that like can't help but be in a relationship. So like when they end one relationship, they go to the next. That was you with conversations last night or two nights ago. <laughs> Not a bad thing though. Talk about networking. This guy you probably networked. Oh yeah, no doubt. As long as you remember to get their contacts. Hello. Oh, is that Panasonic? <laughs> I'm like, I'm a Toyota. <laughs> My car's extended warranty. <laughs> He's got a new sponsorship. No big deal. Anyways, thank you, Team USA. We had a blast, and that was one to remember forever, for sure. It was pretty neat. I'll, I'll just train and do all this stuff just to get that party at the end. Absolutely. Every four years, that's worth it. All the struggles. Four more years. Yeah, all the pain, all the sweat, the blood, the tears. We'll see you again in four years. Actually, it's two more years 2024 mm. two and a half years we'll see y'all then bye